Making an all-around build in NBA 2K24 has been a bit more tough than last year, but I think I finally made it happen. I created a build that can contact dunk, block shots, and rebound. I call this build the robot. Or are you making a video about me? Who gave you the permission? I, I, I created you, so of course I can make a video about you. Right. I'm gonna need 50% of the revenue of this video, and I warn everyone else to subscribe. If not, my comrades and I will take over your world. Let's get the basic stuff out of the way. So write whatever name you want. Your position could be point guard, shooting guard, or small forward, and your number doesn't really matter. Now for our height, we're going to be 6'6", because it is the best height in the game attribute-wise. Our weight is going to be 203 pounds, and our wingspan is going to be 6'8". We're going to jump straight into the defense, so we can get the controversial ratings out of the way. On this build, we basically have no perimeter defense. Oh, before you go insane in the comments, trust me, when you're playing 5v5, you do not need that much perimeter defense. So no clamps, but we get another batch that can help fill the void. That batch is immovable enforcer. There's no way people don't talk about this. It is such a powerful badge. With 74 strength, we're able to bump our matchups and cause them to miss without relying on challenger and all of those other perimeter defense badges for still we set it to 85 for silver glove interceptor and rice stick ripper i cannot make a build without steel rating especially with this low perimeter defense another rating to compensate for is block i finally have a guard build with 69 block man bronze chase down is so underrated i can confidently play a lot of those rim runners in a paint now thanks to this if you've been making builds all year you know that at 66 offensive rebound costs less than defense so I set my O rebound to 60 to get rebound chaser. And finally, I have a 71 interior defense rating on my build. Listen, if you think you're gonna dunk on me or abuse my player in the paint, you're wrong. I've played against players with 94 driving dunk and held them scoreless. Another quote-unquote controversial rating I went with is 55 speed with ball. It currently sits at 50 since my build is just a 94 overall, but man, I cannot tell the difference between this and my other builds. Since I'm not the main ball handler, this doesn't affect me at all. Ball handle is 85, which is good enough for ankle breaker on gold, silver on blockable, bronze blow by, since we have a low speed with ball rating. Pass act is 75, which is the sweet spot, and for some reason, I can stun defenders with my passes even though i do not have needle threader and i'm loving it hold on hold on ooch are you gonna make a build without driving dunk again it's, it's getting boring nah not this time bro i want to put people on posters for my driving dunk i went with 90 for precision dunker on gold silver posterizer gold aerial wizard and i'm telling you the putbacks on this build are absolutely crazy it feels like my player and the ball are attracted to each other like magnets hey yo if i'm not properly boxed out i will get a putback animation guaranteed <laughs> Although I did not want to use layups mainly on this build, I still got away with 80, which gives me Hall of Fame Pro Touch, Gold Scooper, Gold Float Game, Silver Whistle, and as well as Gold Giant Slayer. I can finish at the rim without any issues. My standing dunk is at 45, just to get some basic standing dunk packages. Last but certainly not least, shooting. Man, I really saved the best for last. I basically cannot miss on this build from deep because we have a 92 three-point rating. I feel like it is a bit of an overkill for me. Right now, my three-point rating is just 89 and the jump shots I'm able to make from deep are just ridiculous. Just look at my averages in the rec, bro. So we get Silver Agent 3 and I can't believe I have not tried to use this badge since the beginning of this 2K. Even when my player accidentally fades on a quick stop, I still green my shot. Gold Blinders and Deadeye are so so op that i can fade on anyone or shoot over anyone as long as i got space i'm letting it fly you know i'm a mid-range maestro so i cannot make a build without a respectable mid-range rating this time i went with 86 just enough to give medium edition on gold and phase are just as nice on this build as they are on the other ones i also wanted to be the guy to shoot all the damn free throws in the rack <laughs> so because people do not upgrade their free throws so i went 
Allen with 99 for Hall of Fame free points. Now on to the physicals. My speed is at 83. My acceleration is 71 for silver spot finder and slippery off ball. My vert is 76 and stamina, stamina is 99. 2K is just so bad with build names, just like last year. They call it a pretty level threat. But for me, it is the do it all robot. Hey, at least I got shades of Donovan Mitchell, so I guess it's all right. Let me know in the comments if you like this build. Remember to subscribe. If not, I'll take over your wretched planet. Uh, all right. Uh, stay Gucci until next time, guys. Uchi out. Peace. Peace. Bye.